All right, here we go, here we go, here we go again, hey? Let's do this. The weather is uh, hmm, somewhat ominous, but spirits are high. And uh, it's my last week here on this little island, so time to get up a tree. My new rope has arrived. This girl is still looking as good as ever. <laughs> Let's go. From a lifetime of love and now a growing fear for our natural world, my challenge is to climb some of the world's biggest and most beautiful trees, all in the name of promoting reforestation. We have all played a part in this destruction, and now we all need to play a part in its regeneration. We only have one world, and the future of it, and all its inhabitants is in our hands. So come climb with me as I seek out spectacular specimens and spruik social change. I am Kit, and welcome to Kit Climbs. Spending now an entire month on this beautiful little island, the National Park at the very bottom was my final unexplored destination. So that is where I was heading today. And if this is your first video watching me, well, my entire purpose is to try and not only explore and find beautiful tree specimens, but indeed climb. And I have very little experience. So I thought, oh, if I can get down to the National Park with all of my equipment, surely I'm going to find a beautiful tree to climb. So that is what I'm doing down here. All right, just about to enter the hiking trail. Um, it's great, they've got quite a lot of warnings about stuff not to do. Um, nothing about not climbing the trees. <laughs> So, <laughs> here we go. Be aware of poisonous wildlife in the nature trail and keep to the designated paths. Well, I don't know, I feel like um, I might just have to go off the designated path a little bit just to find a little bit of a space to climb properly. But yeah, well, let's see what happens. Oh, oh this is great because <laughs> it's really steep. Oh, damn. So cool, the buttresses of these trees. <laughs> but it's so steep. I passed quite a few people that guarantee you're not making it all this way. So, it means it's a little bit more private for me, which is always nice. can see something poking through the trees and it is beastly <laughs> these are its roots spreading out so far oh, oh my god oh, so chunky such a chunky monkey Whoa. Damn, look at those ribbing. Oh, it's weird, it feels kind of like hollow. Not dead, but just sort of like much lighter, softer wood. Maybe this sign will tell me what it is. There we go, Thai crepe myrtle. Absolutely gigantic. Giant in the fire, gigantic tree. There you go, uh, up to 30 meters. Okay, so about a third the size of the world's biggest. So, a big tree, but oof. Can you imagine? Three times bigger. Monster. <laughs> oh, it's got a gangster hole through it too. Oh, so cool. All right, this one looks like it was the uh, same species, but obviously, <laughs> long time gone, but it's just, it's, it's the way that it should be, because this tree, has outlived its life naturally and then everything that's broken down all of this stuff all its roots it's eventually going to turn into well it's already turning into the the matter and the nutrients to to feed new trees that are going to fill its space so there you have that thriving big beauty over there and then yeah what well, eventually will become of her but then you go you give it another hundred years or so <laughs> long after we're all gone and there'll be something else just as spectacular in that place <sighs> as long as it stays in National Park 
Uh, that's the most important thing. Hey, so does anyone have any uh, feedback on and thoughts on concreting nature trails like this? I mean, I don't mind when it comes to like steps and stuff. And I appreciate that it's going to give some people a little, little bit easier access to somewhere like this. But I mean, it could just be, <laughs> could just be natural ground. Seems like a little bit of a <laughs> an fu to just plaster a concrete trail through a national park. You know, this kind of sums up my point a little bit, right? <laughs> Built this concrete thing. It's just collapsed. This is just so much easier to walk through here. I'm assuming it was for when the river runs high, but... <laughs> ah, silly humans. So silly. Oh, whoa, look at those kill things. Funky nodules. Never heard of that thing before. They're really nice. India Ivy Roo. It's a good for our digestion. Leaves can be eaten with chili paste. I love, love nature's natural pharmacy, eh? What a cool treat. Okay, I'm uh, I'm heading back down now. It's been a super nice walk, but literally just this uh, this one path. And I guess because <laughs> because of being in the jungle, ooh, oh, that's nice. Because of being in the jungle of this type of rainforest, it's very hard to walk off the path. There's so many vines. Being Australian, I'm so used to like kind of spacious bushes, I guess you would call them spacious forests. Uh, yeah. I haven't lost hope that here I'll find a tree, but <laughs> yeah. if I need to go somewhere else, as what's happening. Yes, well, this is kind of a bit of the problem <laughs> that I have being where I am. Just not the right species for for climbing. Big, tall, beautiful trees, but struggling to find one for my skill level. <laughs> Hello. Hey, buddy. read that just so good <laughs> that's why we need these trees people <laughs> they're so important and so beautiful <sighs> oh so expansive <laughs> just keep going oh, ridiculous oh my goodness i just found my new favorite tree species it's like an orangutan <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful look at that color what are you oh Oh, I really want to know what this is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Excellent. Oh, that is an absolute beauty. Oh, another one. That's what they're like. Yeah, real cool. I think that they're more, uh, I mean, we've just got really close to the ocean. It's just right there. So they're obviously like real coast dwelling. They look like coast dwelling trees. So they wouldn't grow back up into the forest where we've just been, but here they're going to survive and thrive. Raw, so cool. Yeah, I like this one. Oil from the leaf smells like menthol, which the old people use <laughs> for relieving pain. Just the old people, because young people. <laughs> oh, the trees are cool. It's amazing if you really take note of, of vegetation, the changes that happen. When you get so close to the water, these trees, for example, would not exist back up in that rainforest, but out here, just perfect conditions for them. Salty and breezy, mm, all the good stuff. Now, if this is the first video that you've seen of me, this tree. <laughs> Check out the video in the top corner right now. <laughs> I climbed a tree, a much bigger and more impressive version of that. And uh, whoa, it just blew me away. So 
check that video out. Real cool. Okie dokie. So, I've just done that nature walk. Uh, it took about an hour and 20 minutes or something, I guess. And yeah, uh, uh, as we see, I've come out and not been able to find a tree because they're all just so tall and it is what it is. So, what's going to happen? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is uh, go grab some lunch and then I'm going to definitely go and find a tree. So, let's snap forward to that. But just before that, I just found this. <laughs> this funny little thing on a swing. It's not a bad spot just to chill out. It's not a bad use of uh, some old fishing gear, that's for sure. Anyway, snapping forward right now. I'm finding a tree. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> 